seven of the strangest gaming controllers. First up is the Dreamcast Fishing Rod, which allowed players to physically reel the fish in. The Dragon Quest Slime controller, hmm? which you would think, given it's almost a sphere, would be incredibly comfortable to hold. Well, it's not. It sucks. And its upside down smile creeps me out. This thing is the Steel Battalion controller. Look at the size of it. I feel like you need to go on a training course just to use it. Oh yeah, and there's an actual working eject button that's protected under secure cases. The NES Power Glove, which was a completely revolutionary way to control your games when it was first released. But Nintendo only made two games for it, so you can see why it didn't catch on. This is a real GameCube controller they released so that you could chat to your friends while playing. It definitely wasn't meant to be yellow. Next up is the Katana controller, which comes with its own built-in motion sensors and vibration. <laughs> this is just awesome, but good luck trying to get used to the button layout. But check out the Resident Evil Chainsaw controller, which probably makes the game 10 times harder to play. 